Hello there, gaming loving peeps. Welcome back to my channel. I'm at it again, as usual, like a crazy person. There is just interesting things going on with this game. So I think I unlocked a new mission. So I have no access to most of this stuff. <clears throat> so the new mission is, let me see. You know, I have to go to the bulletin board, to be honest with you. Because there's this one. Go to the presence chamber. So, I have to go install the hyperdrive. Let's go. So, where is the presence chamber? Oh, that's where the puzzle is. So, I'm gonna go there. Okay, it's hang-ups. Okay. Are you gonna be nicer to me? Angel, the Sentinels are watching you. Oracle has allowed you to enter the city. However, that doesn't mean that you can do as you please. Nope, he's still mean. Still mean as ever. Oh, I forgot there's this puzzle as well. I don't even know the answer to that puzzle. I'm gonna give you realness. I've had moments where I forget to unmute my mic, so I haven't forgotten. But anyways, let's continue forth. I gotta go back and install the hyperdrive. You guys are very funny. Okay, thank you. Thank you again. Wait, you guys are down here already? Oh, as expected. My eyes did not deceive me. No, they do. Excellent work, Adam. Your eyes are deceiving you 150%. Let's go to the hyperdrive. Secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. Why are you making me do shit? Whoa! It looks brighter now. Yes. What we're doing is really worth it. I don't know. Something fishy. Talk to the Oracle. Something is really up with this place. I'm not gonna lie. There's something going on. Hmm. Alright, go talk to this freaking oracle person who is sketchy as hell. Just so you know, super sketchy. But we're not saying anything. We're gonna play along. Once again, thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait. He will give you an answer. There's a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. I am detecting the frequencies of an alpha nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix 11. I will forward the map data to the tetrapod. It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the Alpha Nativa's location. Thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done for Zion, I assure you. Mm. I wish you luck. Hundred percent sketchy.
Alrighty. Talk to Adam at the safe house. The town seems different. I see more people, more signs. I told you, what we've accomplished has been well worth it. I don't think we'll be catching any more sideways glances. Well, that's great to hear. To be honest, I was getting a bit anxious. I'm heading over to the tetrapod. Why don't you take some time to enjoy the new scenery? Thank you. It means more side quests, more money to spend. There's still no one in this cafe. Everyone is drunk with, with hope. hope. I forgot that angels bring both hope and despair at the same time. Oh my god, you're so mean. Eh? If you can, avoid the back alleys. Angel, there is a high chance that the group targeting you is hiding there. Oh. <laughs> it's you, Angel. Now why would an angel visit the last gulp? Here for a song, perhaps? I could ask you the same. I thought you'd be busy collecting scraps or trading like the other scavengers. Yeah. That's what I'd be doing. If it wasn't for my partner screwing up. He entered the forbidden area. Trying to find a jackpot for the sake of Zion and the store. Or so he says. That place is the Devil's Lair. That's why there's lost treasure in it. Devil's Lair? Yes. The Devil's Lair, an underground chamber echoing with the roars of Natibas. Hmm. I got near the place to find my partner, but I turned back like a coward. Is this a mission? Possibly continue life as a scavenger. Well, I found the forbidden area. Are involved. I'll help. What? Why? There's nothing in it for you. Everyone keeps calling me a freaking angel. I just want to know if Tommy is alive. All I need you to do is find him. Fair enough. Send me the location. Thank you. More missions. Sweet. Oh, hi. Enya, what is it? Eve. What's wrong? You're not singing like usual. Well, the thing is, it's Sue. He hasn't come here recently. I've also heard that he's seeing someone else. What? Do you... do you think he will abandon me? I don't think Sue would do a thing like that. Please, don't worry. This might just be a misunderstanding. Where exactly did you hear this? I heard it from Bo, one of Sue's colleagues. Eve. I'm sorry to bother you with this, but I can't leave here because of my legs. Can you ask around for me and maybe find out what's going on? Okay, just hang on. There's no reason to be so anxious. Thank you very much. Another mission. What brings an angel here? I heard that you've been saying some strange things about Sue. What? Oh, right. You probably heard that from Enya, didn't you? But I guess that's not that important. I haven't seen Sue at all for the past few days now. Wait, what? Sorry. Sue's abandoned his post. He's not the type to do something like that. That's exactly what I'm saying. I wonder what happened to him. I'll have to investigate these in the right order. Do you know who Sue was meeting up with without Enya's knowledge? I... I couldn't say for certain. They were far away. Ah, all right. This complicates things. So, now we have a lot of complicated situations here. Because... People are disappearing. Oh uh, yeah, she's green now, so secondary mission here. Welcome to Sister's Junk. Angel, you're back. Yes. 
Seems like we're seeing a lot of each other. Welcome. I apologize for the current state of the shop. Kaya, I have something I'd like to ask you. Yes, Angel? Well, what is it? I'm looking for a sentinel named Sue. I think you might have spoken with him. How... how did you know that? Finally. Sue has disappeared. I'd appreciate it if you would assist me with the investigation. My goodness. What's going on? Well... Sentinel was looking for a lower body exospine system. Oh, he's looking for a lower body system for Enya. Of course, we don't have anything that rare available here. I told him that it'd have a lot of trouble finding one unless he looked someplace where a lot of supplies were dumped during the war. Like Near the, the solar tower. tower in the wasteland? Oh boy. Did he say what he was planning on doing with the exospine? It's for Enya. Someone really needed it. He didn't say anything more than that. He's so for Anya. Oh, Angel. I... I really hope nothing bad has happened to him. Aww. I'm trying to find out. Anyway, thank you. You've been a big help. She hauls. Oh, no. I can already tell what Sue's up to. Yep. Oh, Oh, now I get it. Let's try it again. Oh. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh my god, that shit. I figured that out! Oh, that's horrible. I can't believe that. Who are you? Uh, Angel! Uh, the looters took my sister! Please, save my younger sister! Where are the looters now? There! Down the alley! Uh. Wait right here! Oh. Oh shit. you came from the colony. Aren't we humans just like you? Well, why should we have to dig through garbage, cower and hide from the Ativos just to survive? Why? But, didn't you know? How could you not? All of you are actual angels. There are many treasures, but none more precious than the materials inside your bodies. And with a body as state of the art as yours, need I say more? Oh my gosh. I've got to say, it'll be nice to hear a thank you for a change. Are you all right? Focus on me. Can you do that? Adam. These are black market merchants. I didn't think they'd approach airborne squad members. <sighs> this can't be. I've never seen this before. It looks like Natibas weren't all humans had to worry about. <sighs> A 
Let's get you back to the safe house and do some maintenance. Well, that was just weird. Well, obviously that was a weird experience. Eve, you're here. Look over here. What is that? What's this? Uh, this here is an alpha signal meter. This device uses the subtle resonance from the alpha core to pinpoint its location. It can't reach a super long distance, but you'll find it useful once you head over to the location Orkle told you about. Wow, good work. <laughs> You're gonna put me out of a job. I thought you were already out of a job. <laughs> you little brat. Yeah, don't hate. Thank you for helping me out all the time, Lily. And just one more. Can you turn around for me? What have you done, Lily? I customized the power distribution of the body cell. Doesn't your body feel lighter? Something does feel different. If you try jumping, I bet you'll notice the difference. Double jump now. Ah, oh, sweet. Okay. There was something here. Oh. Oh, here you are. Thank you. Dunno, but I accomplished my mission. Bye bye. <laughs> I got to see the angel up close. That's suspicious. Sending a random child instead of coming to me directly. What is this program? Request letter. Please forgive me for can concealing my identity like this. I heard it's impossible to go to the lower part of. Edo, Edo 7 at Petalos Plaza because of the flooding. This is a recovery program to control the broken sewer device. Use this to get the water out of the plaza and look into Warehouse 77. If you head there, you'll see why I'm asking this. Asking this of you. Okay. Plaza. Oh. Is this related to that flooded shopping mall? That's a pretty vague request. Seems like a trap. Could be. We'll know when we get there. Hmm. What to do? More missions. Oh, there's a person here now. Huh. This noise. Renovating, perhaps? Can't just barge in like this. The store is closed. Oh, Angel. Uh, whoa. What are you doing here? I heard some noise. Is everything all right? Oh, uh, I, I didn't know that. Sorry to bother you, Angel. As you can see, this is a general store. I trade all kinds of items. I can't do business, not anymore. Why not? Well, 
I had a treasure in the store. I, I thought of it as my guardian angel. It's a gilt bronze standing Buddha. Old, valuable treasure. But my daughter Arin stole it. What? That item protects this store. She she knows how valuable it is. I bet she wanted to sell it at the market. I see. Tell me what I can do to help. Thank you, Angel. Uh, if you terrify the scavengers at the market, they'll tell you where it is. Terrify them? Yes, Angel. Please, bring back my gilt bronze standing Buddha. Please, I beg you. Fine. I'll see what I can do. Oh, I gotta go to her. Hello, Angel. Hi, Kaya. How's the junkyard doing? I'm doing all right, thanks to you. It would be nice if only my sister would come back soon. Kaya. Can I ask you something? Sure. Have you met a girl named Arin? Arin? I guess you've heard the story then. What story? About her and her father, Lyle. They were really close. They cared for each other, though they were financially struggling. But ever since Lyle got that standing Buddha, he changed. He considers it his guardian <laughs> angel and even believes that it embodies Mother's fear. Over time, his obsession grew stronger than ever. I guess that's why Arin decided to get rid of it for good. Where it would never be found. Seems like this is something personal. So where is she? Scrap cleans. There's a building with a dome roof. People call it the villa. It was built by strange drones. Nobody goes there. Perfect place to hide something. Okay. Thanks. Oh, you. Hello there. How are you? May Mother Spears' blessings be with you always. Uh, uh, yes. Meeting you like this now, it's Mother's doing. She's answered my prayers. If you came all the way to the ground for the sake of Mother Spear, well, I'm sure you'll at least listen to my request. Sure. A favor? I have a brother, a good man, and as devout as I am, if not more. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to make it out of Ados 7 before. Ados 7. Ados 7. Be now, it would be foolish of me to think he managed to survive. However, I would at least like to have his book of faith. It was precious to him. To us, that book is even more valuable than our lives. Okay, whatever. My brother was a librarian at the library in Ados 7. Knowing him, he stayed at that library until the very end to protect it. Please, try to retrieve the Book of Faith from the library. A gold circle is engraved on the cover, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. All right. Thank you. Rest assured, Mother will protect you along your journey. Okay, okay, okay. Mother of words, you have convinced me. Oh! She's this way. Here, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a negative on the missing girl and the stolen goods. Dad turned weird after he got this item. Right. He's fighting other scavengers trying to get useless stuff get just because it looks similar to that well. thing. All the sentinels hate him. I can't stand it. The thing's gotta be cursed. I would love to take it from... Take it far away and smash the things to pieces, but Dad thinks so clearly of it, I can't bring myself to do it. For the first time in my life, I wish I could be more cold-hearted. I'm going to take this thing to the container yard where it can be found, can't be found again. I'm sure Dad will give up with time and he'll stop obsessing over it. I just want things to go back to normal. Why is he obsessed with it? Okay, let's talk to the beep beep. Hello, oh, may I you? Help you. Beep beep. Someone came here earlier, right? With a statue. Do you know where she is? Little girl was here. Beep beep. She was going to bury gilt bronze standing Buddha. Uh huh. There it is, container yard nearby. Container yard. Got it. That girl's nothing but trouble. Well, at least I know roughly where she is. What is she even doing in a place like this? Let's find her, and fast. Help! Someone please help! Monsters are trying to kill me! Hang tight. I'm coming. Oh, shit. I don't even know how to get to her. Where'd she go? Okay, girly. I got you. Angel? Why are you here? I could ask you the same. Did you come all the way here to hide the standing Buddha? I could not find a way to get How up here. How did you know that? Long story. Anyway, you shouldn't get rid of that. Why don't you talk it out with him? If you say so, I'll do it. What on earth were you thinking? Surely you didn't. Wait. It's not what you think. I think you should hear what she has to say first. Ren? Dad, this object is definitely cursed. You stare at this all day, mumbling, and you fight people. This thing doesn't protect us. It is breaking us apart. We used to be happy without it. Oh, my child. So I... Tried to hide it away forever, but eventually I brought it back. You're right, my sunshine. I should have known you'd never take something from me without good reason. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm so sorry, Aaron. Dad. Angel, will you take this? I'll take it. You can either keep it or throw it away. I don't know, is it cursed? Okay. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. No problem. I just want you and your father to be happy, okay? Okay. Oh, wow. Well. well, that was something. Fuck. I gotta do the long way around. Damn. I defeated a hedgehogger. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here. Hmm. Fine. Ooh, 
Ooh, there's a lot. Oh, no, no, no. 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 He didn't die here. I'm positive. If he dropped this while he was being attacked, his corpse would be nearby. Well, that's not good. Okay, let's see. 